Like many other women in Mecca, Amina decided to send her son away from the city for his early years to the desert where it was more healthy. Women from the desert to come to Mecca to collect the new babies and they would then keep them until they develop into strong children for which they were well paid by the parents. Among the women who traveled to Mecca to fetch a new baby at the time Amina's son was born was a Bedouin woman called Halima. With her was her husband and baby son. They had always been very poor but this year things were harder than ever because there had been famine. The donkey that earned Halima on the journey was so weak from hunger that he often stumbled. Halima's own baby son cried all the time because his mother could not feed him properly. Even their camel did not give them one drop of milk. Halima did not know what to do. So she thought to herself, how can I possibly feed another baby when I haven't got enough milk even for my own son? At last they reached Mecca. All the other women of the tribe to which Halima belonged, the Bani Saad, found a child to take back with them, but not Halima. The only baby left was Muhammad peace be upon him. Usually the father paid the wet nurse but Muhammad's father was dead sallam. So no one wanted to take him even though he was from one of the noblest families of Quraysh. Halima did not want to take him either but she did not want to be the only woman to go back to her tribe without a baby to bring up. She asked her husband whether she should take Muhammad peace be upon him or not. He advised her to do so adding Perhaps Allah will bless us because of him. They started on the return journey and as soon as Halima began to feed Muhammad peace be upon him, her milk suddenly increased and she had enough for him as well as her baby son. When they were back home, everything began to change. The land became green and the date trees, one of their main sources of food, gave lots of fruit. Even the sheep and their old camel began to give plenty of milk. Halima and her husband knew that this good fortune had come because they had the new baby, Muhammad, peace be upon him, whom they had come to love as if he were their own son. When Muhammad, peace be upon him, was two years old, Halima took him back to his mother. She pleaded with Amina, however, to let her keep him for a little longer and to her great joy the mother agreed. During his time with Halima's family in the desert, Muhammad peace be upon him played with her children and together they would take the sheep out to graze. At another time however, Halima would often find him sitting alone. It is said that on one occasion, two angels came to Muhammad peace be upon him and washed his heart with snow. In this way, Allah made his heart pure for he intended Muhammad peace be upon him to be greater than any man ever born and to become the seal of the prophets. When Halima finally took Muhammad peace be upon him back to Amina, he was a healthy, strong boy. Later, he, peace be upon him, would look back with joy on the time he had spent with Halima and he always thought of himself as one of the Bani Saad.